Hi, this is Josh Wright, Business Development Manager here at Art Main Auto Group in Jackson, Michigan. Uh, thank you so much for your interest in this 2009 Honda Odyssey EXL. Um, this vehicle was actually traded in, traded into us. Uh, it was uh, their daily driver. Um, this is part of our wholesale to the public program. Basically, means that they hasn't gone through the same um, inspections and reconditioning processes that our normal used car lot does. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad vehicle, but this one, uh, due to some cosmetic issues as well as a couple of minor mechanics issues um, is here it only has a hundred thousand miles on it um, we reduced the price down to seven thousand nine hundred and eighty five dollars because of this um, does not necessarily mean this is a bad vehicle I've had Odysseys come in with well over two hundred and fifty thousand miles um, with no mechanical issues um, so this would make a, a great vehicle for somebody uh, they can ignore a couple of small things that are wrong with it um, at a great price. But with that being said, we do recommend that um, if you're not mechanically inclined, that you bring somebody that can just, you know, inspect the vehicle, make sure it's going to be a good fit for you. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because we've had several people interested, and I'm just pointing out anything that I would want to know before coming out and, you know, at least considering a vehicle like this. So we'll start off here in the front. Um, hood's in pretty good shape small stone chips but nothing too crazy there front grill is in great shape nice honda logo and chrome um, front headlamps are in good shape a little bit of hazing but nothing too crazy so that's in good good condition here um, got a couple of uh scratches here on the front bumper things there as well uh, this does, does have a 16 inch aluminum alloy wheel on it tread depth on those tires looks to be good so nothing you have to worry about anytime soon uh, we do have some scrapes here on the passenger side door of the interior here. Uh, it's an EXL with leather. So we do have kind of like some scraping here on the front leather. Nice large glove box there. It does have heated leather seats as well. some scratches here on the back door. Um, so you can see back here, it's got kind of, there's only side swept or something like that. But, um, it does cause this power door to kind of get hung up sometimes. So it opens up pretty much just fine. We'll talk about the interior here. Uh, so it does have the, the bucket seats here in the second row. Nice plush leather too. These, these seats are extremely comfortable. Um, this is the preferred uh, configuration to be able to have two bucket seats in the second row and then you do have uh, three seats there available in the third row as well. All around the leather is in pretty good condition. You have a rear HVAC option so they can control their own heat in the second row as well. Uh, this is where I've had some hang ups so I mean it, the power door does um, sometimes get hung up. Looks like this time it will function properly. Um, sometimes it does get hung up just because of this. I'm not sure if it's kind of pushed this in a little bit, um, but if it's something you're willing to look past, then, you know, like I said, it's not that big of a deal, so. We do have some scrapes here in the back bumper. Look here to the... These are actually uh, foldable, so you can actually fold these down if you're not using them right into the space right here. Alternatively, you can use that for storage space, of course. Looks like the power lift gate does function good as well. Um, so the majority of the cosmetic damage is, is kind of over here, so you can see there's a bump here, scrape there, that's going to cause this rear panel to push out a little bit. Looks to be the tread depth is good on the rear tire, so no worries there. Um, we also have here uh, some cosmetic issues here on the front bumper, some scrapes, and it's coming out just a little bit. Um, from what I've been told, none of this does affect the drivability at all. Had a customer test drive it uh, yesterday. Um, they're looking at financing. I'm not sure if it's going to go through or not, but it is still definitely available right now. Uh, we have power windows, power locks. 
Power doors are all located right here. You can control those. Go ahead and start the vehicle up here. Uh, the vehicle does have uh, steering wheel controls here. Cruise control located right here. Uh, AM, FM, XM radio it does have a six CD changer. I'm not 100% sure if that works or not. It very well may. I just don't have CDs to actually try it out. I'm not sure if it's got a little storage space there. Heated seats. Do have another power outlet and auxiliary input there as well. Um, so you can see it has 100,501 miles on it. So the only light that it has on is this TPMS uh, up here. That's Tire Pressure Monitoring System. Um, to be honest, almost every single Odyssey with 100,000 miles ends up having this issue. Um, it does not affect the drivability. Basically, it's just an error code from one of the sensors because they do go bad. Um, they're somewhat expensive, a couple hundred bucks to replace, and that's why uh, the previous owner didn't replace it because it doesn't affect the drivability. Um, but like I said, I mean, I didn't want to disclose that just for the sake of being transparent. It does have the sunroof. Let's see if that doesn't look like to be there's any leakage or anything like that from the sunroof. So that's a good sign. I mean, all in all, I mean, aside from, you know, some cosmetic issues, um, I mean, the vehicle does seem to be in good running shape. So as of right now, the vehicle is still available. If you're interested in scheduling an appointment to come out and take a look at it, um, you can contact me directly or reply to the email. Uh, my direct line is 517-841-7689. 517-841-7689. Again, it's Josh Wright with our main auto group. Thank you.